हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक लेट सॉल्व द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ करंट एंड इट रीड्स अ पॉजिटिवली चार्ज्ड पार्टिकल अल्फा पार्टिकल प्रोजेक्ट टुवर्ड्स वेस्ट इज डिफ्लेक्टेड टुवर्ड्स नॉर्थ बाय अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज टुवर्ड्स साउथ ईस्ट डाउनवर्ड्स और अपवर्ड्स सो देयर आर फोर ऑप्शंस गिवन वी विल हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट so in this question it says that there is an alpha particle which is a positively charged particle was projected towards the west that is it was moving westwards and under the influence of a magnetic field alpha particle was deflected towards the north so we'll have to find out in which direction is the magnetic field acting let us understand this question through this video so let us first start by understanding fleming's left hand rule so it says that if we stretch these three fingers of our left hand in three mutually perpendicular direction that is we have to stretch the fourth finger the middle finger and our thumb in three mutually perpendicular direction that is they have to be perpendicular to each other so if we stretch them like this then if the fourth finger represents the direction of the magnetic field the middle finger or the second finger represents the direction of electric current then the direction in which the thumb points it will give the direction of motion of the conductor or the direction in which force is acting on the conductor so now i have stretched my three fingers of my left hand now let us interpret our question in accordance with fleming's left hand rule so if in the question you have a particle like a alpha particle or a positron or a proton then then the direction in which the positively charged particles move will be the direction of the current flow but if in the question you are given a negatively charged particle like a beta particle or an electron then point your middle finger in a direction opposite to the direction in which those negatively charged particles are moving it is because the direction of electric current is considered as per the direction in which the positive charges move so if in the question you are given that an electron is moving in a particular direction please point this finger in the direction opposite to that of the movement of the negatively charged particles like electron or the beta particles because the movement of the beta particles or the electrons is opposite to that of the positive charges so we'll consider the direction of motion of the positive charges as the direction of current flow and not the direction of the movement of the negative charges which is electronic current as the direction of current flow i hope you are clear so now coming back to our question it's given that a positively charged particle so in our question we are having a positively charged particle which is moving towards west now since alpha particle is a positively charged particle we can take the direction of movement of the alpha particle to be the direction of current so since it's given in the question that the alpha particle is moving towards the west so i point my middle finger representing the direction of current flow towards the west as you can see here so it is deflected towards the north by the magnetic field so the alpha particle which was going like this westwards it will be pointed towards the north side now if we align our middle finger and the thumb representing the current direction and the direction of motion of the alpha particle which is towards the north i see that my four finger which is representing the magnetic field it is pointing upwards all right you can see here it's pointing upwards so the direction of the magnetic field is upwards which is option d so option d is the correct answer so now i hope you have understood the solution to this question so if i summarize one point from this video that you have to keep in mind while solving these type of questions involving fleming's left hand rule is that you have to consider the direction of motion of the positively charged particle as the direction of current flow so if you have been given any positively charged particle like alpha particle positron or any other positively charged particle you have to point your middle finger representing the direction of current flow in the direction in which these particles move so if any of these particle is moving towards the right your middle finger should align rightwards and if any of these particles are moving leftwards then your middle finger should align to the left but if you have been given any negatively charged particles like electrons or 
beta particles or if any negatively charged particle is given in the question then point your middle finger in a direction opposite to the direction in which these particles move because the direction of motion of the positive particles is opposite to the direction in which these negative particles move so this thing is to be kept in mind while solving these type of questions this is the important thing which you have to keep in mind while solving these type of questions if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye bye